Hey folks, I've done a lot of printing, as you can see. So it's time to put these together. I'm going to glue them together because even though the friction fit works quite well, I want it really stable. And then I'm going to get my reels on them. Let's get going. So my plan is to just use some super glue, little drops, to hold it together. Assuming this hasn't dried up, because it doesn't last very long once it's been opened. Nope, still wet, awesome. I'm just gonna put a drop on each section, hopefully get it together before it dries, and move on to the next one. I don't think it's gonna take a lot to hold it all together. I hope it won't. I'm not even sure if super glue is the right thing to use on this. I know that there is some cement, I don't know what it's called, that people use for 3D prints. I don't even know how long this should be held together for. So this might not be the correct stuff to use, I don't know. But that's okay, I'm going to put some music on and build the rest of this rack. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to have a hard time fitting this under the camera, so just bear with me. Okay, so I have no idea how long it takes for this glue to set. It shouldn't be too long. It says instant, but you don't believe everything you read. Now the rack's put together. What I've also done is printed two end caps. So it's another piece that goes on the end, but as you can see, it doesn't have holes coming out the other side. It's got a hole all the way through, and then I've got a cap that fits over the top of it just like that. So it gives me my last two pieces. So let's glue that together. I've got some super glue on my fingers, which is not surprising. Oops. Um, yep, that is the correct way. Okay, and I'll just put some glue around the outside here. And hopefully that'll not drip off when I connect it. Excellent. So that's the final rack in length. Just fits in the camera. So how many spots do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Why 23? Why is it this size? Because this is designed to fit inside one of the little cubicles on my IKEA shelves. So I'll have different racks inside each cubicle to hold my reels. So while this dries, here's another one I printed in red. This is not glued together yet, but I'll do that off the video because I don't want to bore everyone with gluing together again. But this is exactly the same rack again, but it's printed in red PETG. And I've also got another rack, my old rack, the original one, which is in black. 
So the plan is to have different colors for different component sizes. So for instance, this red reel is going to be for 0603 reels. My blue one is going to be for 0402. And my black one is going to be for 0805. And then I'm probably going to need a th fourth rack. I might have to go out and maybe buy some green PET G. Might look quite nice, or maybe some yellow. And I'll use that for miscellaneous reels. I've yet to print any of the wider reels. So for the 12 millimeter reels or 16 mil, but I've only got about four reels right now that I need to store that way. And my black reel holder actually has four racks that are 12 mil wide. So I'll just put them on there for now. So as I mentioned, these front sections are for labels. And so what I'm gonna do is print up some example labels to put on here and show you how they work. Okay, so here's my Dymo label printer. Let's turn it on. I'm using what's called a metallic paper on this one. I've already got a label already in here. So if I just tilt the print, let it come out. Cut it off. And as you can see, I've now got a label, 0603 820R. And I'll just do one more so I can put two of them on next to each other just to show you what they look like. I probably won't be using these specific labels. So make sure I'm on numbers. Um, one, K, two, for a 1.2K resistor. I don't have to mention it's a resistor because you can tell by the value. So print that. So I'm gonna have a lot of labels to print for sure, but these will just go on um, probably this way. It probably needs to come down a bit. Now sticking labels on 3D printed surfaces is not great. That's why I use this metallic label because it's a bit more durable and it seems to stick much better. Oops, the right way around. So then all of my compartments are going to have labels like this. Now they're all going to be slightly different length, so I'll trim them down. But the idea is everyone will have its own label, and then my part system will be able to tell me what rack it's on, and then I go to the rack and I find the label for the component I'm looking for. So lots of labels to print for both racks, but there you go. These are the finished racks, and they look pretty good. I'm very happy with them. The colors look amazing. They look much better in real life than they do on the camera. And it's gonna make it very easy to find my components. These files are available on Thingiverse. So there'll be a link in the description down below. Feel free to grab a set if you want and print your own. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my patrons. You're amazing. I really appreciate all of your support. If you're new here, please subscribe. Please click the alarm bell to be notified of new videos coming out. And if you're already subbed, thanks heaps. I really appreciate it. I will catch you all later. Bye.